White Labs, a full service marketing agency. Today's guest is Jill. Jill, feel free to introduce yourself and let our viewers know about yourself and your background. Hey, I'm Jill Koffenberg and I uh, founded Chopper Mill in 2020 during the pandemic when my son decided he didn't want to go outside because he had lost his mittens. And so uh, that was where my entrepreneurial journey started in e-commerce. And uh, it's been a wild ride since, but um, yeah, it's yep. just been really fun. We're based out of Stillwater, Minnesota. I tested my own product in the forests of uh, my own kid's school. And uh, excited to share more about that with you guys. Awesome, well tell me about the brand and the products. So Chopper Mill was designed uh, basically to solve the problem of a lot of the uh, holes. So because I'm in Minnesota, obviously we get like negative 40 winters. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> a lot of times I would find that the product just wasn't like quite matching up, whether it was the angle of the cuff going over the sleeve for the child. So you don't get the, the nice snowpack between your wrist in your uh on your arm it or if it was like the level of materials where you couldn't have a dexterous mitten so they can't actually grab like snowballs or they can't grab sticks so that's all three of my kids when i designed the product they were going to um uh, outdoor school in marine on st croix minnesota and so i thought you know what every time they go outside. So what they do is they go two recesses a day outside and they also like walk outside in between their classes. And then if they're doing, let's say like math, they would take like the branches on a tree and then do multiplication that way, right? So every time it's application based. So what better way to test a product in the winter than to put these on my kids during these all basically outside all the time and see how they perform. And so every day my kids would come home I'd ask them what was wrong with them, what didn't they like, et cetera. And then now I've come up with this product, which is Chopper Mill Mittens, which I believe is the best mitten product on. I mean, I really do believe it's the best one on the market. Um, and also what is unique about our brand is because my son locks his mittens, um, we actually give you one free if you lose one. So it's our signature repair plan. And if you lose another one, you can actually just buy a single because I don't like to be so wasteful with clothing and products generally. And so I thought, wouldn't it be nice if you could just know that, hey, my kid's about to outgrow their next size next year, and I only need to buy one now, but I'm not gonna sacrifice the quality of the mitten. I can still buy a nice premium mitten without having to like worry if my kid's hands are gonna get frostbite. Awesome, that's, uh, that's an amazing story. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate Who is your um, ideal target audience? For the mittens. I mean, parents, you know, yeah. so I started out with kids and um, because I just felt like there was a problem in the kid market specifically because they are the ones that, you know, you really worry about their fingers getting too cold and frostbite and whatnot. So mm -hmm. uh, parents are number one, but I will say, so after our first winter in 2021, uh, I had all these people like coming to me and they're like, why don't you make adults? I lose my mittens too. Like I want the same like kind of warranty. And so in my second winter this last year, I ended up um, developing adult versions. And so now, I mean, honestly, like I have just as many, you know, 20 year olds buying from me as I do parents. So I think that it just resonates with a lot of people that it's nice to have, you know, a guarantee. And then also chopper mill, um, Last year, actually, I started a foundation where I'm going to give 20% of my profits into this foundation so that we can actually turn around and distribute mittens to um, nonprofits in need. So there's a huge, huge uh, space, actually, in all of, like, if you live in a northern climate, basically, a lot of times these families will come in, um, you know, and get their allocation of, like, free clothing and whatnot but often the mittens, there's only like one pair to give to one family. There isn't mm -hmm. enough to go around. And so I thought, you know what, that's such a good direct tie to give back. So, so I'm super excited because like, we're now just getting kind of rolling into like all this foundational things that I believe in. You know, it's not just about selling mittens. It's more about trying to make an impact um, positively, you know, with other, with other families. So, so yeah, I think it, it's just going to be a wild ride. Year three is getting crazy already. So. It'll be fun. Awesome. It's amazing. So you're in a very competitive space. You touched on this briefly. Mm -hmm. but what makes you better than your competitors? Well, I mean, number one, our, our product quality. So we have 3M Thin Slit. We have goat leather. 
We have Cordura performance fabric. I mean, all the different things that you need to make an excellent mitten. There's a lot of people that I don't really think it's like the focus of their brand per se, but this is all I do. Like, this is all I care about. Yeah. And so I just want to be known for mittens, right? I don't care really about anything else. And um, in, an, in addition to that, like, this isn't really about selling a product. Like, most other people are saying, hey, I'm, you know, I'm just selling a mitten or a snow pant or whatever it is. But for me, it's like, I want to solve people's problems with the lost mittens because there is nothing more frustrating than if you are in January in Minnesota and your child does not want to go outside because they don't have the right pair of mittens. I actually have a friend of mine who um, bought the mittens and her kid has never worn mittens because she is sensory, like, you know, she has sensory issues with like different uh, materials. And my mittens are the only ones that she'll wear. And so, and I'm very proud of that. And she was like, yeah, we, we've never been able to get her to go outside. And like, it's just one of those things where you want to solve that problem for the families because kids need to be active, right? And if they're not active, like there's just a whole host of issues that arise. So I think that chopper mill is different because we're not just thinking about why should we sell you a product? We're trying to like, just make it that families can go outside without thinking twice about like the quality of the product. And then also know that if they lose the product, they have someone they can trust and they can talk to about getting a new or a new single. So. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Thanks. What are your best selling mittens? Um, it's a, it's kind of a divide between the, the white color snow, we call it, and then the natural tan color. But, you know, I mean, mostly I would say the kids coming out the gates, obviously that's all we had. But the reason why mm -hmm. parents love the kids is I have on the cuff, a Velcro patch, which has their name. So oh, it also is very nice is that first off kids love seeing their name on stuff. Um, yeah you know, or their initials or whatever. So they get to pick like whatever color of patch they want. We have like five different ones to choose from, and then they can put their name on there. And then also the parent can actually take off the Velcro and then just buy a patch from me. They don't need to buy new mittens and put a new patch on when they hand it down to the next kid. Because right. again, like our, we're not thinking yeah. about like trying to just keep selling you products. We're trying to think about okay, how can we just make this product last a little bit longer so that, you know, you can actually have a good quality mitten so your kid can get outside. And so we just want to be like that focal point of like, hey, I don't need to worry about mittens anymore. I just go to Chopper Mill and like, I'm just set, you know. Definitely. It's amazing. What's and, your uh, future plan for yourself and the brand? I mean, I'm just going to keep on, you know, my goal is to like, honestly, like my the person that I would say that I would be striving to emulate would be Ivan Chouinard of Patagonia. I mean, what mm -hmm. he's done with giving back is like, you know, phenomenal. And um, if I could do even a, you know, 0. 0.0005 version yeah. of what that is, I would be very happy with uh, what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, it, for me, it checks the boxes of trying to set a good example of my kids of like, hey, you know, mom, mom can do stuff too. Um, but then also, you know, you want to, I, I love, you know, business and I love capitalism, but I also love to give back and I love to like inspire kids. So I think if I can just check those three, you know, and say like, Hey, I did my best and I feel like we're giving back. Um, you know, it, it's the most fun I've ever had. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm working. It's just constantly trying to figure out, you know, how do we, how do we sell more mittens? So we drive down the cost so we can get more profitable so we can give back to the kids. So it's just kind of this fun like matrix right now. And I, I think, uh, yeah, I think we're well poised for year three. Great. So being an entrepreneur and starting a brand like this, I'm sure you've had a few of these. What are some challenges that you face and how did you overcome them? Well, I have a really fun one. Uh, the first year I was um, expecting that I was going to be selling commercially that year. And, um, of course, because of the pandemic, I don't know if you recall, but the shipping situation was absolutely yeah. like insane. So my mittens actually didn't make it. <laughs> so, wow. so we missed our first year. So technically I should be going into my fourth year, but I'm not. Um, uh, and so anyways, so in the meantime, I thought, okay, what can I do while I'm waiting, you know, for next winter? Um, and I thought, you know, what would be kind of cool since we're like a kid's company, 
uh, when we started, I thought, you know, I always have loved giving books uh, to to families. Like if I have a friend like doing a baby shower and I really think like these can be cute baby shower gifts because you can put the name on them and that kind of thing. So I was like, oh, I should include a book. Well, long story short, I couldn't find a winter book that I was super thrilled about. And so um, my kids had always made up the story of where like all the last mittens would go, which they call it the mitten thief. And so mm-hmm. I ended up writing a book. So uh, I'm a published author, author, so it was a good, happy accident that my mittens never came and um, ended up writing the book. And it's just a really fun kids book that I, I also sell on the website. But yeah, it's, that, w- that is why I have a book. I wouldn't have that book without uh, the shipping delays of the pandemic. So thanks, pandemic. Amazing. Great. <laughs> where, yeah. um, where, where are you selling? Is it just the site or are you, are you in retail? Um, so we, uh, so the first two years we've just been doing online on choppermill.com, but uh, this year we're actually going to be expanding to retail and uh, Amazon, Etsy, and some other areas. So yeah, yeah, we're going full steam ahead. Great. What's what's been the most successful way to promote the brand? You know, honestly, it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I've I've dabbled in about everything now uh, after a couple of years, and I would say the most successful has been just this army of moms and dads that, like, honestly, I I don't pay them. They literally on their own will just post their passion for the product and. I feel like that word of mouth has been like the most powerful tool that I've had. Um, You know, it's, it's just always so, you know, as an entrepreneur, when you have like basically no budget, right? Like if you see somebody post about your product, you're like (laughs) psyched, you're like high-fiving yourself. (laughs) So, so, you know, that is, uh, that's been really like just amazing that people are like just kind and doing it just out of the goodness of their heart. So it's great. It is. What advice can you give an entrepreneur that's looking to start a brand this year? You know, I would say just, just, you're never going to know, you don't know what you don't know, right? So you can't overthink it. Mm -hmm. And if you really do believe that you have a good idea, you just have to jump. You just have to jump and do it. And there's never going to be a right time. I mean, when I launched this, I thought to myself, am I insane? Like I have three kids in hockey, which... (laughs) Launching a winter brand when you have three kids in hockey might be considered insane. Um, but I digress. It is possible. So I, you know, I think that, you know, if I had oversunk it and thought, you know, I just can't do it. I mean, I definitely could have talked myself out of it. And honestly, I did wait like a whole year before I actually decided to do it. And I almost did that myself. So I would say just go for it. You know, I mean, you always can get a corporate job. You can always yeah. get a different job. You can't just always, you know, follow your dream and design your own mitten or whatever it is that you want to think of that you think will solve a problem for people. So, I don't know. You only live once, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. Where did the, where did the name come from? Um. So in Minnesota, actually, a lot of people call mittens choppers. Gotcha. Okay. It, so so it's a synonymous it's synonymous mostly with like a buckskin version. Um, but I just love calling them choppers generally. And then mill, I just like the idea that, you know, it it sounds like it's, uh, thoughtfully made. Um, so chopper mill was born and I was like, go daddy, it's available. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Yeah. Well, Jill, thank you so much for coming on the podcast and telling your amazing story. And, uh, I appreciate your time today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Definitely.